Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist with an interest in all things relating to ageing well. And today I'm going to be taking another look at collagen supplements because a couple of years ago I did a review on one of these collagen subscription services where you get a four-week supply sent to you in the post and your collagen arrives in these little dinky individual daily sachets. But Overall, I wasn't thrilled with the idea because to me it was an unnecessary amount of packaging. These sachet forms usually include sweeteners in there, which we really don't need, and it all adds to the cost as well. That combined with the fact that back then the science was still a little bit shaky on whether collagen taken orally could be absorbed by the body and actually reach our skin, not to mention our cartilage and our bones. So it left me feeling a little bit kind of neutral and demotivated about taking a regular collagen supplement. However, there have been a couple of more recent studies suggesting that certain forms can indeed be more easily absorbed and lead to visible results. So now let's take a look at the research and the most effective and affordable forms of collagen because supplementation should not be expensive. So let's just start with a little refresher on collagen because it is the most abundant protein in our body and it's used to make connective tissue which is why it's so important to the strength of our bones, skin, muscles and cartilage. I've used collagen on and off in the past but it wasn't until the last few months as I crept up to my 50th birthday that I got serious about it and started taking it daily. My mum on the other hand has taken the same collagen supplement for years. I filmed this video here on it and I'll talk about what she uses shortly but she was convinced it helped thicken her hair which was getting pretty fine and thin as she aged and she believed it improved her energy levels as well because like so many things our bodies gradually make less and less collagen as we age and along with other factors it starts to tell in our skin, nails, hair, muscles, bones and cartilage. Sun exposure can also damage our collagen fibres contributing further to the signs of ageing on the surface of our skin. So oral supplements came along to help us try to offset this decline and there has been a lot of debate over how easily absorbed by our bodies these supplements actually are and it appears not all collagen supplements are equal. I mentioned in the intro that we're beginning to get a clearer picture on what makes for an effective supplement and why and it appears through recent studies that hydrolyzed collagen, that's a group of extracted peptides of a lower molecular weight, is better absorbed and therefore has a bigger impact. So if we take a look at this more recent Korean study published just last year, it was a randomized placebo-controlled double-blind trial and after 12 weeks of supplementation with collagen peptides of a lower molecular weight, with half of the 84 participants told to take just one gram of collagen peptides daily alongside a placebo group. And when photos of the skin around the participants' eyes was put through 3D imaging and analysed, it was found that those taking the supplements, that's the collagen supplements, had markedly reduced wrinkling around their eyes. We also have a review paper evaluating the results of 19 eligible randomised double-blind and controlled trials exploring oral supplementation with hydrolyzed collagen as an intervention to tackle signs of ageing including wrinkles, hydration, elasticity and firmness. There were a total of 1,125 participants, mainly women aged between 20 and 70 years. The sources of the collagen differed between marine and animal collagen and with doses between around 2 to 5 grams over 8 to 12 weeks typically. But the analysis showed overall favourable results with hydrolyzed collagen supplementation compared with placebo groups in terms of skin hydration, elasticity and wrinkles. And the report authors concluded that based on the results, ingestion of hydrolyzed collagen for 90 days is effective in reducing skin aging as it reduces wrinkles and improves skin elasticity and hydration. And of course, if hydrolyzed collagen is getting past our digestive system and reaching our skin, then that suggests we could expect to see benefits elsewhere, including our hair and our nails, but even 
our cartilage and bones. Some studies suggest that collagen supplements may help improve symptoms of osteoarthritis, for example, and my mum suffers from that, and reduce overall joint pain. So a review of studies in people with osteoarthritis found that taking collagen led to significant improvements in joint stiffness and overall osteoarthritis symptoms, with researchers suggesting supplemental collagen may accumulate in cartilage and stimulate your tissues to make collagen. In turn, that could lead to lower inflammation, better joint support and reduced pain. So the theory goes. From my mum's perspective, she certainly believes there's been a benefit to her joint pain, though it's not a miracle cure by any stretch of the imagination, just beneficial and that therefore added to her energy because she wasn't struggling with that so much. It could also help prevent bone density loss with an encouraging 12 month study among postmenopausal women who took either a calcium and a vitamin D supplement with five grams of collagen or a calcium and vitamin D supplement with no collagen daily. At the end of the study, those taking the daily calcium, vitamin D and collagen supplement had significantly lower blood levels of proteins that contribute to bone breakdown than those who took only the calcium and vitamin D. The collagen group also had lower loss of bone mineral density. All this was more than enough to convince me at my age to take hydrolyzed collagen peptides daily. And the really good news is we don't seem to have to take it in large amounts. So I've been buying it in powder form and there are a couple of brands that I have favorable experiences of. So both of them uh, sell hydrolyzed lower molecular collagen peptides. Those broken down forms of collagen that are more easily absorbed by our bodies and are hopefully going to get us those good results. So I have used for the last few months this hydrolyzed collagen peptide powder from Code Age, which describes itself as an all-in-one super bone broth and collagen supplement. I bought it from Amazon and I'll link to it in the description. It cost around 30 pounds, pretty much the same in dollars for 252 grams. It's sourced from bovine, marine and poultry and is unflavored and unsweetened. So I just stir some into my coffee or my breakfast in the morning and it's not a pleasant taste, but it's pretty neutral and it's unsweetened, which I would prefer. And within something like a strong coffee, I could barely taste it at all. It comes with a nine gram scoop, but I'm just half filling that. More than that would upset my stomach, I've got to say. But it's also really good to know that people get results on just a gram a day. So a tub like this could last you months and you shouldn't have to spend a lot of money on collagen supplements. I'm going to come on to talk about vegan sources in a minute and wh whether they are as effective because I have quite a few vegan viewers who I know will be looking for information on this subject. I just wanted to note that I've started taking a different um, hydrolyzed collagen supplement. It's from anti-aging supplement specialist Do Not Age. I'm trying their peptide powder out. It is bovine sourced from grass-fed cows and it comes with a 10 gram scoop. So again, I'm just, just using half a scoop a day. It's a bit cheaper than the Code Age product, very similar in tastes. Um, but we don't have the different sources in this one. It's just type one collagen, but that is the most abundant form in the human body. So a 300 gram tub costs around $20 or 18 pounds. And I have a 10% discount code for that one in the video description. Now, my mom has used the same hydrolyzed marine collagen in capsule form for years and had great results for her hair volume and also, as I said, feeling more energized. And she also noticed a big difference with her nails too. So she's been taking this supplement from Diet Applements, which also contains hyaluronic acid. And I will do a separate video on oral hyaluronic acid supplementation. Now diet applements have a new super duper form of their collagen supplements, uh, which my mom is now taking. It comes with 35 ingredients, including the collagen and hyaluronic acid, but also adding in things like turmeric, niacin, iron, biotin, and ashwagandha. Each capsule contains 600 milligrams of collagen and you're recommended to take three a day and it's priced around 18 pounds for 90 capsules. So those are just a few supplements that we have personal experience of using pretty successfully. Now, obviously most collagen supplements are sourced from animals and we have the best evidence for those supplements, but scientists have been working on bioengineering vegan supplements using things like genetically modified yeast and bacteria 
but they're a bit of a work in progress and it's not something I can provide a recommended product that has hard science behind it at this point. If you are vegan and have had success with a particular supplement, let me know in the comments because it is something I'll try to look at more closely down the line. For now, I hope you found this information helpful. I do always love to hear your views and what you use in the comments section and I'll be back with another video very soon. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.